Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over a grasshopper script that allows you to create this type of structure and also change the number of divisions and change the spacing in between the contours as well as the thickness of that structure and if you wanted to increase the size you could do that while maintaining the distance between the contours so as you can see the th th number of three number of four kind of works well when you start going into the five it starts not working as well but if you go into six tends to work a little bit better um, so even numbers seem to be working but also number three also three so it really depends on you and um, on the size and the the dimensions of of the thickness so we can decrease that here so yes it creates some interesting um, results but if you maintain around four or even a like a six, uh, a three, which is actually a structure that I've developed before, um, it show it creates a cool little structure. And so let me show you um, what it takes to create the script. Okay, I'm gonna start with the circle, and that's gonna be our base geometry. And we'll do a slider. to control that radius and we'll leave the point at the center which should be 5 for now and now let's go to create a uh, divide so we're going to divide that circle a number of times so we'll say uh, create a low number of 3 and the max of 10 that should be fine that way we can always produce a plane so let's go here to boundary surfaces um, and then let's plug this so let's see if we can't use that one yet we have to create a polyline try to skip a step there so that polyline we're then gonna go here and set the boolean to true that way we can close that polyline and now we can create that surface. This surface, what we want to do is create a contour. So let's go here to contour. So let's set this is the shape. The, cent the circle, center point. And then we'll go out to these points so we're going to basically go from the center out to these points through the contours and now we can create a slider um, determining um, the distance between the contours so as you can see here um, we have 48 inches between the contours and it starts creating this interesting pattern here um, so we can go ahead and hide that and there we have our the structure that or the geometry that we're gonna then project so what we're gonna do now is create the dome geometry which I've done before many times so I'll go ahead and do it quickly um, So basically creating a box around that and moving it in the negative Z direction 120 inches 
and ultimately subtracting that box from the sphere. So it's called solid difference and once again take the sphere and that geometry and we can hide all of this Now we can create uh, or take out the item because we're going to have here. Um, actually, we have to deconstruct the B rep. That way, we can have, as you can see here, we have two faces, which is the top and the bottom. And we want to go ahead and hide those because if we do an item, list item, and we plug basically all those faces in sometimes the resulting the the default of zero is the one you want and and so it'll show up so we have these um contours here let me hide this here so we have the contours here um and it varies and so um what we want to do is project. So let's let's bring in the project component and let's plug in the initial curve and then let's see. This one's asking for the B rep. So yes. As you can see it projects it up to where the dome we have the dome geometry. Okay, so now that we've projected those, we want to project this polyline that's down here, but we have to explode it first, otherwise it won't work correctly. So let me plug that into there. So we have those, and let's copy this, and project these curves um, right here. And as you can see, we have that, and we have this which is what we wanted so let me hide and we can also create some other interesting geometries when we change the polygon type now not all of them work correctly but the even numbers seem to be seem to be the ones that work the best so let's go back down to four And so we have those in the in um, this set, these sets of uh, curves, and we have these sets of curves that are projected, and we can go ahead and pipe them. And then we'll do the same for the other one. That way we can increase the ones on the outside. that we will have here a we can create a group and you can create another group here take both of these and flatten them and now you should have um, you should have everything worked out so if you bake it here we have a cool little wireframe structure with a thi uh, thick outside.
Okay, so right here I'm doing a quick render just to see the results of um, the work that we did. Okay, so this is the final result here of the render and I feel it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll leave the links uh, for everything, uh, the model and the script for you to download. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial once again. Um, thank you very much for watching.